Hey guys and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to slay terror dogs, which are another easy, relatively easy task, rather like Super Quizzle last week. And the reason I recommend you do these is simply for points again, rather than XP purposes mainly. However, they can be a very, very fast task due to the multi-combat zone and the fact that you get assigned a low amount. However, before I get into this video, the first thing I want to mention is that I'm coming to the end of all the slayer tasks I recommend you complete. So I'd like you to post in the comments any slayer tasks that I haven't done that you'd like to know. For example, like, there's many tasks in this game that I don't recommend you complete because this, these guys are for the best XP. However, if you've got a slayer monster you do like to kill or want to know how to kill, do post it in the comments. It doesn't necessarily have to be a slayer creature either, it could be any creature and I'll make a guide on it and show you how to kill it. As for boss guides, I will. I do plan on doing a Tormented Demons guide and a Glacial guide at some point. However, I'm not sure when because I am actually busy with exams at the minute. But after exams, who knows, I might have plenty of time then to get going with them guides because they will take a while to make. But yeah, do post any creatures you want me to kill. But let's just get into this guide from the Terror Dogs. Now the Terror Dogs are level 100 and 110. There's, t there's two sizes, like the little tiny ones. You can see them in the background, the little tiny ones are level 100. And then the big fat one that you can see slight, slowly see me melling, and the one on the right of the screen are the 110s. Now these do have a slay requirement of level 40, so nothing too major as most players I assume that are going to be doing these will have 40 slayer anyway. Now the life points are 820 for the 100s and 880 for the 110s, so it's barely any difference. So it really doesn't make a difference which ones you concentrate on. You just you will clear the whole room anyway, so you kind of want to do that. That's if you will clear the whole room if you're going for the full out method anyway. The attack styles is just melee, so you will be praying melee just to negate all damage. As there is a prayer doing there, however you should be fine though, and prayer, trap, um, prayer pots are cheap anyway, so there's no problem in that whatsoever. So anyway, let's get into the gear setup, and then I'll go and show you how to kill them. Right guys, so let's get into the gear setup for these terror dogs. Now the first thing I want to mention is I've got my cannon mitt invent, and this is simply just speed slaying. It's just something I do. Now, terror dogs you cannot actually use your cannon. However, I have it in my invent just to save time banking it. Because banking that and getting it out next slayer test might waste some time. However, I've left it in there because I literally don't need any more potions than this, and this will easily suffice for the task. Now as for the gear, you just want your melee set, regular melee setup, and obviously your rapier. Now your gloves obviously could be just Barrow's gloves if you don't want to waste Goliaths, or whatever. It's just the general setup as long as you, and obviously Slayer Helmet. Now your summoning for me is really important here. This is the reason that they are in a multi-combat zone, however you cannot use your cannon. Now this enables you to be able to use a summoning familiar, a combat familiar, to aid you in combat. Now obviously I recommend the um, Steel of Legends and the Steel Titan Familiar. However, I know this is a 99 summoning requirement, that's pretty damn high. And so obviously you can use any other combat familiar you can access, like such as a Geyser Titan, which is a bit of a lower level, and there's many other t Titans, like Iron Titan, and as I'm sure you can work out a decent combat familiar. They're all gonna help, and they're, and they're definitely worth using because they really do aid in aid, um, killing the Terror Dogs, or whatever Slayer Monster you're actually doing with them. Now obviously in your invent you want your regular four items across the top, so you want your special weapon, you want your ring of slaying, now this is very important for this task, and this is the one where you'll actually use the teleport option on it to get to terror dogs, and if you do not have rings of slaying, I do not recommend doing terror dogs, because to get to them without a ring of slaying is an absolute piss take, and you really don't want to do it. The ferocious ring is definitely something to have in your invent as well, just for quick access to Kudel if you've got many in the invent. If you got money in your bank stored up, and in your bottom row you want your Tokal Zoo, which is quick access to this bank and a fairy ring, which is just up there. Cannonballs, just for when you're actually cannoning. Dragon's Medallion, quick access to Blood Vells, and your house tabs for quick access to an altar, and something on list if you've got them in your house. Now, as for your invent, other than that, you just need a couple of extreme attacks. Extreme attacks, obviously you could use overloads, or just supers if you haven't got extremes. You want an equal amount of prayer renewals, now these are really going to come in handy because there's something that happens at this place that drains your prayer and you definitely want to be able to save as much prayer as you possibly can and then the remaining items are just a few prayer pots they'll get you through the task now these tasks are very low amount they are around 60 to 100 I approximately, I'm not 100% sure and basically they're very, and it's a very fast task the main reason I do them is not mainly for XP, it's just mainly for fast task. Definitely worth doing for points, because you want to keep your points up. Just like the Stukwa that I showed you last week. And they are definitely worth doing, just for that reason. And they do provide a decent XP rate. And you should be able to get, if you, especially if you're using a Steel Titan, and that'll definitely speed up. So I'm just going to get to um, Terror Dogs now. Alright, so just had to um, spawn my steel titan because I didn't have one out already. So you want to just click rub on your um, slayer ring and you want to click tarn slayer. 
Now, if you've never been here before, you will have to do some little boss inside this room first of all. And that actually gives you access to an, amu an, an amulet called the Salve Amulet 8. Well, I think you can already get it, but you enchant it through this. And you kill a boss, it'll give you a silly XP the first time you do it, but it's really easy. So when doing this, you want to pre-melee, pre-turmoil, and you probably want to have Berserker on as well. I'd recommend just potting it before you go in. And you can end there. Now obviously you want an empty world that's really going to help. And obviously a fast spawn world is also going to help. Now I've got some re I've got some really awful lag right now. You can, I'm sure you can see it on the video. I hope that doesn't ruin the quality too much. But I really am lagging right now. I have no idea why. But this is simply how you'll kill them. You, I'm sure if you've used um, Combat Familiar before, you'll know exactly what to do. Just constantly set it on things. And also make sure you have your full Slayer Helmet charged. Because that is really going to help. Because when you're... When you're not able to click fast, when you're not able to click, you're still having will spec by itself sometimes, and will attack things automatically since it's multi combat. So you just want to go around killing stuff. Don't constant. Well, obviously you want to try and concentrate on the one tens. However, you will kill them relatively fast. As many times I've went in this room and cleared the full thing. Like, it's very easy to kill them all if you're using a steel titan, etc and these claw specs. Obviously you want to use these special weapons as much as possible and you can really, it really is helpful to have the game on all and then you can see when your claws have recharged and as soon as you get 100% I recommend using them both. The reason I do it 100% and not when it hits 50 is because if you do it at 50 you have to switch more times per spec and if you're not very good at switching or you lag when you switch you might waste, you might waste some time on doing that so I just recommend doing it when you're at 100%. Holy shit a long one there pretty rare. May as well pick that up, some free construction XP. So this is simply how you kill Terror Dogs, there's nothing more to it really. You can obviously have Auto Retaliate on, which I don't currently. And you could, if you're not using a Combat Familiar, you don't have to free Melee. You can easily pre, um, you don't have to pre um, Protection, obviously you want to pre Turmoil or Piety. But if you are not um, using a Combat Familiar, you can use a Unicorn or any of a healing familiar and you can probably survive on just no friendly prayer and your healing familiar will be easily enough to heal you through the task and you won't the task doesn't take long anyway you can it's a very easy task to afk if you are just afking it without a um without a combat familiar it's not a bad task at all but before the slayering give you fast access to here it was it was really awful to come here I remember I used to skip this task all the time because, like, to get here through Tarn, you had to actually go through this Tarn's lair thing that should work for your telly to. And it is one of the toughest dungeons in RuneScape. I mean, I'm not even got, I'm not lying. To get through that, there's traps everywhere, and the monsters in there do actually wreck you, but with that teleport, it's really easy because you teleport right here, so it's awesome. Anyway, there's not much else to say about Terror Dogs. And I hope this has helped you with slaying terror dogs if you've never done them before. Again, I apologise for the laggy video. I have no idea why. It's just my RuneScape is suddenly lagging every time I record today. And I, I really don't know why. It's just, it doesn't normally lag. Well, it lags a little bit, not this bad. But, yeah. Don't forget to post in the comments monsters that you do want to show me me to show you how to kill because I know I've only shown you slayer tasks that I recommend you actually do complete but if you've got any slayer tasks that you do actually like to complete and you do want to guide on them do post it in the comments and even if it's not a slayer task if you want to know how to kill something do post it in the comments and I'll try and make a guide on it and hopefully you'll see that soon if you um, get a top comment with that I might definitely will make it I see anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another video